The fields were bleached white. The wooden tubs full of water were white in the winds that blew through Brannigan's Gap on their way from Siberia. The cows on the grassless heights followed the hay that had wings. The February fodder that hung itself on the black branches of hilltop hedge. A man stood beside a potato pit and clapped his arms and pranced on the crisp roots and shouted to warm himself. Then he buck-leaped about the potatoes and scooped them into a basket. He looked like a bucking suck-calf whose spine was being tickled. Sometimes he stared across the bogs, and sometimes he straightened his back and vaguely whistled a tune that weakened his spirit and saddened his terrier dogs. A neighbor passed with a spade on his shoulder, and Patrick McGuire, bent like a bridge, whistled. Good morning, under his oxter. And the man on the other side of the hedge clamped his spade on the road at his toes and talked an old sentimentality while the wind blew under his clothes. The mother sickened and stayed in bed all day. Her head hardly dented the pillow, so light and thin it had worn. But she still inquired after the household affairs. She held the strings of her children's punch and judy, and when a mouth opened, it was her truth that the dolls would have spoken if they hadn't been made of wooden tin. The priest called to see her every Saturday, and she told him her troubles and fears. If Marianne was settled, I'd die in peace. I'm getting on in years. You were a good woman, said the priest, and your children will miss you when you're gone. The likes of you this parish never knew. I'm sure they'll not forget the work you've done. She reached five bony crooks under the tick. Five pounds for masses, won't you say them quick? She died one morning in the beginning of May, and a shower of sparrow notes was the litany for her dying. The holy water was sprinkled on the bedclothes, and her children stood around the bed and cried because it was too late for crying. A mother dead, the tired sentiment. Mother, mother, was a shallow pool where sorrow hardly could wash its feet. Marianne came away from the deathbed and boiled the calves their gruel. Oh, what was I doing when the procession passed? Where was I looking? Young women and men, and I might have joined them. Who bent the coin of my destiny that is stuck in the slot? I remember a night we walked through the moon of Donamoyne, four of us seeking adventure. It was midsummer forty years ago. Now I know the moment that gave the turn to my life. Oh, Christ! I'm locked in a stable with pigs and cows forever.